Hello everyone, this is Yuki's English News Program. We have a special guest today. Ciao, I'm Yuki's friend Marco. I'm from Italy. Piacere. Nice to meet you. みなさんこんにちは。世界の人と話そう英語ニュースの時間です。今日はスペシャルゲストのマルコさんを迎えてお送りします。マルコさんはイタリア人です。私の友達で今日本に住んでいて、日本で仕事をしています。マルコ? Yes. Um, you know, a couple of weeks ago, a big earthquake hit Italy. So we we are so concerned about the people living in Italy. How is the situation? We believe that the biggest damage is already passed mm -hmm. and it's safer now but still people are worried because there are uh, still even in these weeks mm -hmm. additional uh, er, smaller earthquakes yeah. and people have evacuated the area mm -hmm. widely i see yeah because i have visited rome with my family and it was really a beautiful city thank you yeah um, my family and my friends and i love italy so much <laughs> mm. え、私も家族旅行でロマを訪れたことがあって、え、たくさん思い出があって、イタリアは大好きな国です。今日は先月イタリアで起こった地震についてのニュースを放送します。英語ニュースを聞いてクイズに答えてくださいね。Question 1. How big was the October 30th earthquake in Italy? Question 2. What is the name of the historical building in the photo? Question 3. What did Prime Minister Matteo Renzi say after the earthquake? Okay, please listen to the news. A big earthquake struck the center of Italy on October 30th with its epicenter in Norcia. It had a magnitude of 6.5, the most powerful earthquake to hit Italy since 1980, striking a blow to the regions of Marche and Umbria. Most of the residents in the area had already been evacuated after the regions were hit by two other earthquakes four days earlier. So there were 20 people who were injured, but nobody was killed. It also caused fresh damage to the towns which were destroyed by the August earthquake that killed nearly 300 people. The earthquake ruined a lot of historical buildings including the, the San Benedetto Basilica in Norcia, a sacred site that crumbled into heaps. Prime Minister Matteo Renzi said, we will rebuild everything, the houses, the churches, the shops. The area represents the soul of our country. Marco? Yes. Um, just as your country, Japan has a lot of earthquakes too, so we have a custom to do an evacuation drill regularly, like once or twice a year. So do Italian people have um, evacuation drill like us? We do have evacuation drills, but I mm. think they're not enough. We have just a few when I was in school, and mostly they were for fire and not earthquake. I feel there should be more of those. Ah, yes fires hmm. yes okay so one more question Christmas is coming soon so how do Italian people spend Christmas generally Italian people love to spend their Christmas with their families and relatives like aunts or uncles and cousins mm. and eat a very big dinner and ah. exchange gifts mm -hmm. sounds great so we pray for Italy so that the people can have a happy Christmas time with family and relatives. Thank you. Yeah.イタリアの被災地の方々が一刻も早く元の状態に戻って平和なクリスマスを過ごせるように私たちも願っています。Thank you for joining the program, Marco. And thank you for listening, everyone. See you. See you. Ciao.